Uh, believe it or not, I'm a Taurus. Probably explains the horns. That or I'm a devil. Hello, my name is Arturo Limon. I am the head chef at the Stage West Theaters Cafe. How did I come into this field? Well, actually, Pam Huey, who runs the front of our cafe, good friend of mine, we've known ourselves for hundreds of years, it seems like. We both worked together at a little place called City Park Cafe years and years ago during the 80s and 90s out there on Forest Park Boulevard. We just kind of kept in touch over the years and then we lost touch for a little bit. And then about eight years ago, I ran into her and found out what she was doing and they were needing somebody. And two years later, I was able to get away and actually start doing this and I've been very happy since then. I guess the favorite thing about my position is working with the young guys in the kitchen. Things have changed over the years. You know, social media, stuff like that. Before, in the old days, it was all word of mouth. Get on the telephone, you know, it was just really different. So working with the younger guys and learning from them as much as they learn from me, I think is the best thing about my job. The worst thing about my job would be kind of limited equipment. Uh, you know, you want to do so much more. You know, you want to impress people a little bit more and do a little bit more, but you can only do so much with what you've got. But with the improvements that we're doing around here and the expansion and stuff, I think we're headed in the right direction and we're going to have a lot more variety to our menu. If my job were an animal, I guess it would be a bear. They're not omnivore where they eat vegetables, fish, and uh, meat. I work essentially with all those things, so I guess I'm the closest thing to a bear. Advice for somebody who wants to go into the field of being a chef? It's a cautionary warning. You know, a lot of people watch a lot of TV shows and get caught up in all the it's pretty dishes and all the really stuff. And when, when it really comes down to, it's a lot of hard work. You know, the preparation is probably just as important as cooking the food because if you don't have preparation done, then the food's not gonna come out the way it should be. As far as that, I would say, I would tell people either go to school or study under somebody who's been to school or has been doing it for a very long time. I guess people, what they don't know about me would be the most is because I guess my outward appearance, I look healthy and stuff like that, but I'm 55 now, but at 48, I ended up having a mild heart attack. They ended up putting four stints in my heart because the blockage was so bad. But that comes from all the old days. You know, I was born in the 60s, so I was brought up during the, the four meals a day, the breakfast, the eggs, the bacon, the coffee, the everything else for so many years. And plus, I'm Hispanic, so my mom cooked with a lot of lard back then. People are kind of surprised when they look at me. And it's like, well, you look healthy. It's like, well, not how you look on the outside. It's how you are on the inside. My favorite show in the theater, and I haven't seen a lot, and uh, usually I'm stuck back there a little bit. The one I guess I really liked a lot was um, when I first started here, the first show that was on, which was Avenue Q. I thought it was fun. The stage was amazing. I mean, it was just a great production, I thought. It was, it was, a, it was a great show. As far as the production, I'm not, you know, in the production back here, but the most that I like about coming and seeing the shows is, I guess, the set designs because I don't think they get enough credit around here. Most of the time I'll come in here, if I got a chance and I've caught up on my work, I'll, I'll wander back here and just look around and just be amazed at some of the work that they've done to make this look so great. As far as being part of the production, I may not be part of the actual production. I'm out there trying to keep people happy, you know, as far as their food and their experience. But as far as being a fan of, you know, the theater, Coming and seeing the sets around here is just phenomenal. My favorite memory, and believe it or not, was my first maid. And of course, for the people who don't know about that, that's when we are open to the public. Uh, you come in, we're serving food, we've got vendors and all kinds of sorts of, you know, stuff to do, interactive stuff. So that was really fun. It's a lot of work because so many people come through the door. And so we're trying to make a lot of sample items of what we do around here so they can taste what we actually serve. But I guess I get to meet a lot of people and see a lot of faces and get a lot of reactions. And I guess that's the most rewarding part when people let you know that they really enjoy something that you made. My favorite color for most of my life was probably blue. And as I've gotten older, yellow, orange, are kind of taking over a little bit. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to say now at this point. 
My favorite animal for a long time, I had pictures of dolphins. Uh, I had a, always a fascination about dolphins. They seem so smart. They seem to know exactly, they're almost human-like, but just uh, a little different. They're very sociable. They're not out there just to do mean stuff out in the ocean like sharks. <laughs> My favorite number is seven. And that would probably be because I was born on May 7th at 7.17 in the morning. My favorite dessert, uh, you know, I guess you would think creme brulee or, or gosh, there's, there's just so many. There's almost no dessert that I do, don't like. But uh, as I've gotten older, it's just a simple stuff, ice cream. Oh, my God. One food for the rest of my life. Sounds like Dante's Inferno. Deep down in my heart, I'm eating potatoes, guys. So anything along that line or anything that my mom cooks. <laughs> so any, any kind of Mexican food, steak and potatoes, you can't go wrong for me. To the patrons, I'd just like to say that uh, we really miss you all coming in and I miss seeing the faces and uh, seeing the enjoyment people have when they come out to the theater. I never thought I would miss work, but I miss work. You know what I mean? And part of the work, which I didn't feel like was work, was the people that came in through the door. That made everything worthwhile. And right now it seems like everything's at a pause and I think everything's gonna be all right but I want to make sure we do everything right also. I hope we can get this going as soon as possible. I'd like to see everybody back in here again and uh, having a good time. Thank you. Bye-bye.